This is for my babies. In today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how I did my crochet full locks using this never seen before game changing newly invented free tress hipster lock by Shake and Go. And make sure you stay true to the end because I'm going to be showing you guys my simple maintenance routine as well as a bedtime routine. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lovet. If you're a new subscriber, welcome to the family and if you are a returning subscriber like welcome back welcome back like welcome back to my channel <laughs> Now this tutorial is going to be very detailed and thorough. For my braid pattern, I have individual braids around the perimeter all the way to the back and in the middle I just have like you know regular cornrows. I also created two extra individual braids where my part is going to be because girl, I love a deep natural looking side part. It's natural. Today I saw you almost want to cry. You couldn't see the natural things that I The hair I'll be using for this tutorial is from Shake and Go, and this is their free dress hipster look. This hair comes in 18 inches, and it's a little bit kind of like wavy, and then at the end you have like some curls or whatever it is. And for now, this hair comes in two colors: you have color T30 and color 1B. And for the purpose of clarity, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the key things I'm going to be mentioning all through this tutorial, so you don't get confused. The first part is the loose hair. So whenever you hear me referring to like loose hair in this this is the part I'm referring to. The next part is the loop and last but not the least is our full lock. So to install the full locks, I'm going to slide the latch hook underneath the base of my plait and I'm going to place the loop of the full lock onto the hook. I'm going to close the latch hook and pull the hair under the plait to the other side. And then I'm going to place the end of the full lock to the hook, close the latch hook and pull it out through the loop until it is flat and secured to my scalp. So now we have three pieces of hair and to achieve one uniform lock, I'm going to insert the hook through the middle of the full lock, you know, about two, three inches from the top. And then I'm going to place my own hair into the hook. And after that, I'm going to close the hook and then pull the hair out through the lock. And I'm going to do this until my entire hair is hidden inside our full lock. So now that we're done with that, let's get to the game changing part, okay? <laughs> So now I'm going to take the loose hair, fluff it out a little bit and wrap it around the full lock starting from the base and doing this is going to conceal both the loop and your hair and you know the best part, you don't have to spend hours upon hours to wrap the hair all the way down to the end as with regular full lock because once you're done wrapping the loose hair around your full lock, girl, you are good to go. So now I just wanted to show you guys a close up because I felt like the first example wasn't close enough so i'm just going to like repeat the same steps that i did before in my previous example and when we're done i'm going to show you guys how i do the regular crochet install i have never done full lock in my life before so when i saw this hair i was like this is the answer to my prayers this is for my babies
I just launched a couple of days ago. So yeah, there was no tutorial <laughs> whatsoever on YouTube. This is the first time in my life, you know, trying out four locks. And I went on YouTube and I didn't see any other YouTuber who had tried this hair i had to figure this out on my own and i'm super proud of that i'm very sure that by the end of the month other youtubers are going to also come up with how they install their own hipster locks i was so happy that it was so easy for me to do So for the part where I have like cornrows, we're not going to need the loose hair anymore. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut that out with my scissors. So to install the hair, I'm just going to place my latch hook underneath my cornrow. And then I'm going to place the loop to my hook. Close the hook and pull it out to the other side. With the looped end still in my crochet needle, I'm going to place the end of my lock onto the hook. Pull it out through the loop and secure it down to my scalp. Break from your favorite stilettos. You're naturally my favorite girl. You're naturally my favorite girl. That's how it's gonna be. Oh. So to ensure that your hair isn't too bulky or isn't too scanty, you want to make sure you keep like a finger width apart from one install to the next. This method is called the brick clearing method and you're going to see me do that when I'm installing the next corn roll. <laughs> done with my entire head and it's time to sleep my part and my edges i'm just going to go ahead with my holy grail eco styler gel and apply this all over my part and because eco styler gel on its own doesn't hold my edges i'm going to be using this she's bomb goo the only issue i have with this is that it, it kind of like leaves a wet residue and i found out that the only way to kind of like get rid of that residue is to mix this with my eco styler gel these two products together are going to have your edges on fleek for like two three days and i also wanted to show you guys one very important step that you cannot afford to skip as you guys can see over here i have like my individual like crochet braids and right here is where i have like my cornrows and to kind of like make the beginning of your cornrow look seamless as if you have like an individual braid you want to install your crochet braid very close to the front and by doing that you're going to get a very natural transition from your individual your brace to your cornrows. Now that I'm done with that, I'm just going to go ahead and apply my Sally mousse over my hair and then I'm going to go ahead with some wrap strips and tie it down and tie my scarf as well and allow this heat for about an hour. You can actually use heat or go under a dryer if you want to but for me personally, I don't want to like put any form of heat on my hair. My dreams become reality. That's what I chase. Every day I'm older than the last one. I don't have the time to waste. So just maybe one day, baby, we'll be there at the top, baby. So now I'm just going to go ahead and apply my hairspray and you know hair serum while waiting for my hair to get dry, and that's it. That means no slipping tonight. I'm up. I'm up So it's been about an hour and my hair is dry apart from this spot that is a little bit you know damp here yeah, that's why you can see like the white residue so i'm just going to go ahead and add some accessories to my hair and that's all i
smart and nerdy on. I gotta get my reach to sky. To make sure that my hair remains really moisturized, I'm going to go ahead and apply this DIY oil that I did in my DIY Passion Twist tutorial. So make sure you check that out. And I do this about two to three times a week. I don't do this every day. So normally I would use like a hair scrunchie but because this hair is too thick I'm going to use like a hair tie, very slim hair tie. I'm going to tie my hair into like a bun. I'm going to make sure that this is not too tight where it's going to cause like tension on my hair and all of that. And this is just going to ensure that I get my beauty sleep because I don't want to go to bed with my hair, you know, coming in the way of my sleep. <laughs> So now that I'm done with that, I'm going to go ahead and use this scarf. Guys, if you are an OG on my channel, you know that this is my holy grail, my go-to products whenever I want to like show you guys my bedtime routine. And this hasn't changed. And for those of you who are new to my channel, I bought this hair scarf on AliExpress for $1.99. So I'm going to put the link to these products in the description box just so you can get one for yourself. <laughs> So for option two, if you don't have this satin wrap or headband or whatever it is, feel free to use a big scarf, wrap your hair just like I did and you'll be good to go. All right guys, I hope you found this tutorial helpful. I used about five packs of hair in total. I haven't had any issues with like tangling and all of that. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and put the link to all the products used in the description box below. If you have any questions or if you have any requests, please make sure you leave them in the comment section down below as well. And if you're not subscribe to my channel please go ahead and hit the subscribe button don't forget to turn on your notifications and i'll see y'all in my next tutorial Stay